visible to everyone so this is the t band for server which actually has multiple sections where you can perform various type of analysis depending upon the data that you have then depend as well as depending upon what type of analysis that you want to perform so this is very important uh, platform uh, uh, this is especially for both uh people who have do not have any bioinformatics background as well as for those people who already have bioinformatics background but as we know that ngs data has very large data and it is impossible to analyze such kind of data on your own system so this platform uh this platform offer you the opportunity to give the uh, give this uh interface to perform various types of analysis without even if you don't have much knowledge about programming because here scripts are already executed so then you just have to perform like a click on button step so you just need to understand the logic so for example here under the ngs data you will find various sections like transcriptomics that is bulk rna transcriptomics then genomics section then we also have a section that are uh, associated with micro rna or repetitive elements under the dna and rna similarly we have some of specific mutational analysis section under the cancer biology then uh, as we know that these days single cell data analysis is like more or days it is uh, so you will find specific section for single cell data analysis similarly for virology metagenomics and data mining so now as we uh, what uh, we are talking about genomics so one of the aspect that so far uh, dr raghavendra was talking that is phylogenetic how we can perform, perform multiple sequence alignment so let's first go over one of the section that is under data uh, integration and modeling here you will find this data association and under the data association sub section you will find this section specifically dedicated for phylogenetic analysis so here when you find this section that is means already example pipeline or demo pipelines are already given there so what we mean by demo pipeline it means you need not to upload any data so we already loaded the data you you will understand what are the steps that we can perform and how we can interpret those results for example let's take this example that is demo based water sars cov2 msa that is multiple sequence alignment so this pipeline where we are comparing the samples that were taken from particular sars cov2 patient and sorry sars cov2 infected patient uh, not a patient so here they have already collected the based water based water data particularly from the uk where they have uh, samples uh particularly available in the base water itself so we are going to this demo so if i clicking on this we just able to upload data automatically we have we already uploaded raw sequencing files that were obtained from uh, base water samples so then why start we will able to upload the data itself so as uh, dr raghav was talking about fast queue files so they are the files that obtain directly from the sequencer machine so they it contains the reads so then once you have the reads next is how you are going to align your reads on reference genome so for example here we were talking about sars cov2 so we are uh, we were using a uh, reference genome for sars cov2 and with this al uh, algorithm that is what it do but i do so this algorithm will align your reads on reference genome so this is one of the mapping algorithm so then the next step which is automatically get highlighted that is to create the consensus so here you will find first option which is getting highlighted that is per nucleotide so what is per nucleotide module so it will create this kind of ta table where you have sequence then corresponding atgc position so then um, once you have those position then you will able to able to create the consensus sequences so once you have the consensus sequences then we can perform multiple sequence alignment that which uh, that will align our consensus sequences that were obtained from different samples so it automatically align 
all those algorithm sorry all those sequences so specifically here the uh, algorithm that perform multiple sequence al alignment uh, that is omega w so then once uh, at the nucleotide label you are able to align your sequences so then next is uh, because to uh, to study the phylogenetic analysis we also need to convert a nucleotide sequence into the amino acid so here this particular module will convert or uh, because on the reference genome we already provided translational codons so translational uh, with the help of translational codons so your nucleotide multiple sequence alignment sequences will be converted into the amino acid next is you just selecting the codon position so then uh, so after you able to perform multiple sequence alignment successfully next is how you can generate phylogenetic tree so you will find various algorithm theory itself like a and then you have algorithm like beast coalescing b speciation you will process b birth death process so then particularly most of the beast algorithms not just consider the similarity it they also consider the time points so you can uh, here we are using this beast patient birth death process uh, algorithm to perform phylogenetic analysis or to generate a phylogenetic tree so then we, um, once we able to perform the step next uh, step which is getting highlighted here that is end so once we able to end the pipeline so uh, we will uh, able to direct it to this interface where you will able to get the all the output files since this is an already an example pipeline so we are immediately able to get the results but yeah in case when you are doing all this analysis on your sample usually it takes sometimes depending on how many sample you are uploading so it can take one or two days if you have very large number of samples if you are just using very few number of samples in that case it can take uh, maybe one hour or something like that now let's look at what kind of outputs that we will obtain so let me first show you for example phylogen simple phylogenetic tree so here you will find even a pdf file this is that pdf file for example now you have this kind of phylogenetic tree where you can compare which sequences based on the phylogenetic tree you can understand which sequences are more similar to each other or which samples are more similar to each other so the sequences or the samples that are present in the same clade it means they are more similar for example uh, if i am comparing these two um, uh, for example these two samples they are more similar in comparison to if we are considering sample that are present in different clade uh, apart from that if you have already time point information in that case the another very important uh, important information that we will get that is like which particular sample originated first and are, uh, what are the other sequences for example here in a phylogenetic tree how you can understand so if you have uh, any sample that are towards the root so here so those are the old samples in comparison to if you have the samples that are in the node so if this length is larger specifically for example these samples might be the new one so then you can compare if you have the date even the time information then you can understand which sequences are originated first or which uh, are originated later so you can compare samples based on the phylogenetic tree just to understand which are the evolutionary uh, specifically phylogenetic tree help us to understand what is the evolutionary relationship between different sequences for example here we have reference genome and this is also we just taken another reference genome sequence just to confirm whether the sample if they are present in the same clade it represent actually more similarity so for this what we did we taken the reference genome then we just uh, uh, taken another reference genome just 
we just re, uh, name it as odd group sample so then when we are looking at these two samples so they are present in the same clade it, it also show or confirm us like these sequences are more similar to each other now let's look at the next very important output so this is like phylogenetic tree now how we can uh, visualize or understand these results particularly at the level of multiple sequence alignment right so these are the like final results you cannot compare what is the differences between these so right now you know that these sequences are for example these two sequences are more similar to each other in comparison to other sequences so how do we understand where are the what are the positions which are different from each other so uh, what kind of analysis or from which type of analysis we can understand that now let's go back to our output so first output that you will obtain here so if you look at here so i'm just uh, reading its name that is n steward it is msc out uh, underscore fasta dot fa so this is multiple sequence alignment file at nucleotide level now let's download this file and now let me visualize this file uh, using a freely available tool that is eugene so now let me open the eugene so this is the sample that we downloaded right now so let's open this here now we, here we have multiple sequence alignment at a nucleotide level so this is uh, what multiple sequence alignment which we can visualize using eugene now how we can identify where are different sequences or all these sequences are mutated or no, no, uh, where there is a mutation for example whether you are considering with respect to reference genome or you considering a specific sequence or a sample so how we can find out where are what are those mutations so on the eugene you will find this option that is looks like a graph so if you click on this so here we need to select first that reference sequence whether you want to compare your data with in with respect to reference or whether you want to compare your data for example with a specific sample if you have like you are considering control samples right so i am comparing my data with respect to the reference genome so uh, this is also my reference genome and i am just uh, scrolling these samples in this way so first i have to select a reference genome if you select it here just select this sequence then go to the reference sequence so here you able to select this now how we can identify how many mutations are there so we we can find number of mutations as well as percentage of a mutation let's look at first simply number of mutations so here um, you for, you can select this option show distance column then you can go to the count so here you will find this column score column so these are the sequence name and or sample names then you have this score column that will let you know how many mutations are there in comparison to the reference genome this is a reference genome so how we can compare it so we can look at for example this is the same sequence we just named it different these are the both the reference genome so there are zero mutations when you are comparing this is the sample one there are seven mutations this is sample two you we have 10 mutations similarly we have sample a 10 7 here we have six mutations so this is how we can look at how many mutations are there now where are those mutations we can always check that as well so if you just scroll this uh particularly you start scrolling this to left to right you will also able to identify the mutations for example here so for this at this particular position that is 9634 so you will find this a is getting mutated to the t if you know that which particular protein have the sequence start position and position you can definitely identify what are these mutations so this is how we can look at 
of how what we can interpret from the phylogenetic tree then how we can on what we can interpret from the uh, multiple sequence alignment at itself is it clear to everyone or if anyone have any question so far okay daniel anyone else if you have any specific question please feel free to ask your question before we, uh, i move ahead okay so if there is no more question let's go back to the server again so this is just one example like if you have the sequences you can do the phylogenetic analysis to understand what is the origin or what is the old sequences how similar they are so then what are the different uh, where and what are the positions where mutations are taking place you can perform uh, those kind of analysis using msa so then what other options that we have for example we have this is with respect to the viruses then we have specific uh, for example when we are comparing cancer and the normal sample let me look uh, take one that kind of example where we are comparing or try to find out somatic mutations in the cancer so let's go over again here under the genomic section so here under mutation variant parallel analysis of mutation variant data let's take this cancer normal mutation analysis or i have simple uh, uh, already results as well so yeah so this is variant calling cell line where we already computed some of the results as well so under the variant calling um here again Uh, as this is an example pipeline so you need not to upload any data here we already provided one cancer sample and one normal sample so we just need to click on start so with the start we able to uh, click on um, able to upload the sample then of course as we know that in the ngs we need to perform uh, important steps like pre processing particularly here we are first we are removing any pcr duplicates using pcr clean the uh, pcr clean then but i2 to align or read on reference genome of course here the reference genome is human genome so hg38 genome so then with the circa which is one of the algorithm uh, particularly for variant calling or in uh, in uh, small in del in del detection algorithm so you we can find important mutations so then uh, by clicking on the okay we able to calculate this so apart from that you will find other options as well so right now i'm choosing stolka algorithm so then somatic snipper we are using somatic uh, snipper which is again a bayesian kind of uh, bayesian based uh, bayesian approach based method so which compare cancer and the normal sample then it determine whether a particular mutation p so it will provide you somatic score based on that particular score you can actually understand whether a mutation higher the score in indicate that mutation is more important so here we are using this particular uh, somatic snipper algorithm so then we can end the pipeline so now again once we complete the pipeline so we will automatically get this output files so i am just downloading this zip folder i mean by it is just downloading let me look at if there is any question in the chat box okay so i have already open uh, one of the um, this 
result in the axle. So these are the somatic sniper results. So eventually from this pipeline, although we will obtain the VCF files, if we analyze those VCF files, now let's look at what kind of results here we have. So this is kind of a table where we able to compute the result, final results. We have chromosome position. First we have a particular chromosome, then chromosome position, then what is the reference LE? So exactly what was the reference gene, uh, reference, uh, uh, reference base or reference nucleotide in our uh, in case of the reference genome so then we are comparing it with respect to cancer in the normal sample so we have this is tumor sample and this is normal sample now uh, apart from atgc you will find some of uh, other nucleotide here like r g y but it indicates so He's, so these are the substitution mutations. Substitution means A, of course, A could be uh, addition mutation. So then we also represented, for example, M. M indic again indicates it is uh, addition mutation where uh, in addition to A, the C is also getting added. Similarly, you will find W, there is AT, R indicate AZ. So these kind of different positions corresponding exactly what they represent. Now, based on the somatic score, you can understand whether or which particular mutation is more important. So let's uh, here apply your filter, then just short our values, particularly based on somatic snippers, largest to highest. So larger the value of somatic sniper score, that mutation would be more important. So this is how you can uh, analyze and assess these kind of results, particularly from the uh, mutational analysis or mutation variant calling method. Uh, variant calling method. Apart from that, there are also the VCA files that we are going to talk about during this upcoming genomics program, where you can learn like if you have VCA files, how you can assess uh, where are the, what are the mutations in a particular gene, so how you can analyze that. And that is what we are going to talk about in our upcoming session, as well as these things in much more detail. So yeah, that's it. If you have any question, I would be happy to answer your question. Uh, no, I would